This video is a special one. I want you to try your best to discern between the video capabilities of my iPhone 7 and that of my own studio camera, the Panasonic Lumix FZ1000. This camera does have a one inch sensor. It costs about $800, but the iPhone 7 costs $700. Granted, it doesn't only just take pictures and that's pretty much all this camera here that I'm using was intended for, taking pictures and recording video, but I wanna see just how close we can get to DSLR grade video quality with the newest and best iPhone. Granted, it's not the iPhone 7 Plus, so we don't have the dual lens zoom capabilities, but other than that, it's pretty much the same across the board. So with that said, I'm going to film with both the studio camera as well as my iPhone. I'm going to put them side by side. I won't tell you which side is which, and I'll give you just a few scenarios in which you can try your best to discern between the two. In some cases, I expect it should be pretty one-sided, but in other cases, like today, it's bright and sunny outside. I think the results are going to be fairly similar. So uh, let's see how good you are discerning between the two.
Well, there you have it, folks. Let me know in the comments how many you got correct and tell me which scenarios were pretty darn close. The iPhone 7 did fairly well outside. In fact, in some instances, I had to refer back to the titles of the clips when I was editing in Premiere because I wasn't sure which clip went with which camera. Uh, so the iPhone 7 did very well outside. Of course, the much smaller sensor, it's just a trade-off with the phone, uh, did cripple it indoors. It was much grainier overall, and that, that just has to do with the fact that it, it's letting in less light. So uh, the video doesn't look as crisp. And even with this nearly $1,000 camera, uh, it, it's still not a, an excellent in-the-dark video camera. And uh, that, that's something that, that you really have to spend a lot of money for. So that's a trade-off I'm willing to take here. Most of the time when I film, it's bright outside anyway. Uh, but if you're looking for using, I don't know, some kind of flagship top-end phone as your daily driver for video work and things of that sort, I'd say you'd be okay in most cases if you're willing to hold the camera or uh, use some kind of tripod mount that's uh, compatible with phones. But if you can invest in a DSLR type camera, anywhere from $500 to $1,000, I recommend at least 1080p 60fps and a decent sensor size, you will be A-OK -okay for the next few years. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, give it a thumbs down if you do feel the complete opposite, but if you especially like the video, be sure to subscribe for more content like this. This is Science Studio, thanks for learning with us.